your neck. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wild Huckleberry. I'm having camera issues this morning, and all kinds of things going on. Welcome back on a very cold morning. Uh, as of yesterday, it got down below, or last night, it got down below freezing, and we're not supposed to be above freezing again for the next like three or four days. And we're supposed to get snow, and we're supposed to get maybe a lot of snow like seven inches of snow which for some of you i know that's not a lot but for us that's a lot uh we i'm probably not going to be going anywhere i'll be working right from here doing what i need to do from here and only from here uh, it's going to be <clears throat> very cold and uh, i'll be happy to be inside we're we're talking single digits with wind chills maybe below zero. I mean, we're talking cold, cold, cold for us. Uh, down here, you know, we don't usually get snow. We don't get the cold like everybody else does. So here we go. We'll see how it goes. Or leave the baby alone. He's chasing one of my kids. But uh, I got uh, some treats here to give everybody. Uh, and give them some food and i hope i've got enough food for everybody um i've got the water is currently kind of low and frozen yeah i gotta put some more water in there today at some point uh, but i've got a, a water heater to put in there that i hope will keep it uh, from freezing again over the next few days i have a feeling with it with as cold as it's supposed to be at night it's probably still going to freeze to some degree, but at least I should be able to, to get it uh, somewhat unfrozen. Now, I did get a new hay bale out here. Didn't work out like I was planning. Things just really, really, really didn't go like I wanted. And uh, so <laughs> I got it. It's not exactly where I'd want it to be, but it's out there. And that's what I want over the next few days. I just want it to be out there and uh, uh, usable for them because they're going to need it and uh, i'm gonna check in on the new baby this morning and see how he's doing he was good yesterday i'm hoping he's still good today uh, the chickens i really think ought to be good i'm thinking seriously about if i have enough extension cords if i don't i can borrow some from my dad if any of y'all saw my saw the short that i did on the lights that they put up he's got a lot of uh, extension cords that i could borrow but I was thinking about taking the little heater that the, I did for the ch had for the chicks and putting it in there with them, seeing if that would help warm it up some. And then at the very least, they could uh, get around it and kind of look. Or look, they kind of stay warm. But anyway, I'll let you guys know. I don't really think we're going to see much snow today. And tomorrow is when this video will be coming out. So uh, on the next video... I think I'm probably going to be showing you guys a whole lot of snow, a whole lot of snow. As again, a whole lot of snow for us. Uh, it's not maybe not a huge, huge amount for some of you guys, but it's going to be a lot for us. Uh, I worked on the generator yesterday just in case. Uh, I'll show you some of that, what I did to try to get it ready. I got it cranked up <laughs> Whew, just in case. I don't know. I mean, here I was. I wanted to work on the generator yesterday. And the day before, we lost power. <laughs> Doesn't that seem about right? Uh, ended up having to go work at my parents for a while. And then I went to work at uh, Allison's for a while because I was watching the kids for her while she was doing some things. And so, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those deals where I had it planned and I was a day late. But uh, anyway, we got power now. And, and if, there's, if it's the snow like they're saying... I don't think we'll lose power. I don't think we'll have a problem because it's going to be uh, it's going to be that kind of dry snow because it's going to be cold when it's snowing in the teens, below teens, single digits and all. So it's uh, I would fuss at Thor for messing with Nico right now, but Nico drives me crazy at times, so I'm okay with him. 
he's he does like to mess with the boys sometimes come on thor thor leave him alone he's picking at the boys waiting on his food luna get out of there she's trying to get in i got these goodies for everybody and luna's trying to get some before i'm ready for her to have it that's not no that's not for you not yet you stay out of it so sorry anyway i'm going to get these guys fed give them some goodies Whew, my nose is running and uh, uh i'll show you the new baby real quick give you a little update on him and uh then i'm gonna give some stuff to the chickens i'll show you that too so uh you guys just hang in there and stay warm all right everybody's getting their food here they come now look out here in the middle of the field messing around what do you see and it's cold as can be out here and he's not phased by it a bit is he there's the new guy is he not so cute hey little one good morning he's just kind of Checking things out. Of course, he likes things like that. <laughs> you could lay down in there, baby. Here. We could take some of this. Oh, nope, that's got poop on it. <laughs> we could put some of this in here with you. If you want to lay down on that. Get a little protection from the wind. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's the update on the little one. He is doing great. He's thriving. I think he... I keep getting having people ask me, what, what do you think about the new one in the, in the cold? I think he'll be okay. He'll stay out of the cold if he's cold. He'll lay up. I got, I'm going to, this afternoon, I'm going to put some fresh shavings in there so they'll be nice and warm. And uh, they got lots of hay to eat. They got lots of hay to lay on. So I think they'll be just fine. I think everybody out here is going to be good. Leave Leia alone. She got a brand new baby she's feeding. Eat that girl. Eat that stuff. Good girl. Good job. Nobody wants that out there, Leia, baby. That's his mama right there, Leia. Now we're fighting over food over here. All right. I'm going to head out to give the chickens their goodies. And then I'm going to go inside and get warm before I go to church. All right. I'm going to get set up here and... <laughs> Give them their goodies and then give them their food. Later on, I'll bring down the new wormies that I have for them and I'll give them some of that as a treat in the middle of the day. Watch out, guys. All right, come on. I got goodies for you, so come on in here. something to get her attention away for the moment. Grab a few eggs out of here.
Okay. Move, 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 baby. All right, I went in there and collected a few eggs out of the coop. I'm gonna leave these guys to eat on their goodies. The boys have them some. Thing one and thing two have brought some stuff out here. So I think everybody is doing good. Come on, Luna. And uh, I'm going to head up to the house. Going to get myself warm for a minute, change clothes and head on to church. And uh, I just a couple of things that I need to do this afternoon to finish getting everybody ready. And then we just kind of have to buckle down and see what happens because there's no telling exactly what's going to happen with this Arctic front moving in. We could be snowed in for a couple of days. We could be nothing. We could be iced. That's what I'm, I'm most, mostly afraid of is I don't want ice. We're bad here in South Arkansas about getting ice. I don't want ice. I just want snow. Snow is okay, but we'll see. And I'll keep you guys updated on what happens. We couldn't figure out how to make the, do the, uh, pull the line, drain the gas. So instead we're, we went and bought a little pump Try to pump all the gas out of here. How's it looking? Yes, it did. Okay. Now all you gotta do is start the battery and change the oil, huh? Yep. After lunch. <laughs> yeah, it's one o'clock. It's about time to have lunch. Yep. All right. So we finally got all the gas out of it. Next, next step will be to change the oil in it, and then I'll have to charge the battery so that I can crank it up. I plan on cranking it up uh, today and let it run a little bit and just to be sure that it's going to be okay and then cross our fingers that we don't need it in this, in this upcoming ice storm. Alright, we're going to try this. Let's see. I think I know where, see where the plug is. Now if I can get it off. tight moving but it's slow goodness That plug is long. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting it to be that long. All right. So here's the setup we've got going on. Got the bucket underneath. And uh, if you can see it there, it is draining into it. So I'm gonna let, it, let that drain. And then I'm going to 
replace it with the brand new oil that I just bought. It said on the instructions that it would, um, you could use regular SAE 30 if you were running it in warm temperatures and if it got really cold you needed to use 10W30 but if you use this synthetic 5W30 you could run it anytime so I just went ahead and bought the synthetic 5W30 heck I don't know when I'll be running it it could be if we get ice and snow and it's really cold or it could be when we have a storm roll through and it's you know 89 degrees outside I don't know so I decided I just, just opted for this instead well, if you'll notice, the tractor is not sitting in its normal spot. It's sitting right up here beside the house. I got her started and running. And I don't even want to tell you guys what the problem was. Uh, my dad finally asked, he said, Did you check to see if the PTO was engaged or not? Well, this is the PTO. And for those of you that don't know, that's what makes the um, the shaft back here this shaft right back here that's what makes it spin so that things like the uh, disc or the bush hog or any of that stuff so it'll spin and work well I got on here and it was right there <laughs> well guess what when it's right there she won't even think about starting and now oh, that I put it in the place that it needed to be which is completely off let's see what happens oh look at that she cranks up so I'm gonna try with this tractor to spear one of those hay bales and uh, if that works, then I'm going to go in there, take those blocks out from under it, and uh, see about putting it in there with the cows. And I'll put it on my hay feeder and see how that works. I want that to work very well. You guys stay tuned, and you'll see if it's a success or a failure. I'm not sure which it's going to be just yet. Looks like it might. What? Looks like it might. Get here, you get to go. Can I go hit the two posts? Uh, 
Oh, you might. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thought. I'm gonna take this other one that we've not used before and I'm gonna try to put it under this other side to balance this out better. Let's see how this works. Move, Thor! come down. Well, not be involved in particular manslaughter. Thor?
Well, that was a fail. That did not work out like I wanted it to. That's probably the last time that I will try to use these dang hay forks. That the hay bale did not want to come off of it. I had to work hard to get it on it. And then I just had to work ten times as hard to get it on to get it off of it. <sighs> Luckily I that tree worked, but now that bale's not gonna do very good. So next time I'm going to use these forks right here and that should not be a problem because i won't have anything stuck through the middle of it so yeah well next time will be after the the snow and everything comes because that's that's what's coming now um we're looking at it's supposed to be here starting tomorrow and uh, they're saying for us like three to six inches so we'll see i'm trying to get the animals prepared and having a few issues with it but we'll see all right guys i'm gonna go inside now as you can tell i got the light on here because it is dark out here let me turn that off and show you the pretty blue or blue and pink sky over there with the moon little crescent moon right there that's pretty isn't it i love 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 the sunsets out here and they're behind those trees right there but they still are gorgeous is it paxton yep it's paxton, it's paxton. okay paxton likes to get on my head for some reason <laughs> or on my shoulders i'm just trying to get this dog food out of the back of my car and all of a sudden, she climbs my back. <sighs> Paxton, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, darling? <laughs> now her butt's aiming <laughs> isn't it? Baby. Okay, come on back. Come on. Don't put your butt on my head. Thank you. All right. We got the corn and the uh, uh, stuff for the chickens. Hey, Lee, come here for just a second. Come back. Bring that bag back for the one that we got from Atwoods. Just bring me just bring me a, a few of those. Yeah, just a few of those. You don't have to bring the whole thing. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about when I say the difference in the size of this stuff. You see, this stuff here is very small pellets, which I think is easier for the chickens to do compare that <laughs> to the size of what you get at Atwood. See, I don't like these big long pellets. I think they're just, they're so big and they're harder for the chickens to digest. You can throw it in there, it'd be fine. So I like this that we get at our uh, local farm store much better. Kind of got the yin and yang thing going here with the one on each side, but I like to have it spread 
or have it put in there together so I can throw it out and, and it'll be together. So anyway, uh, so I just wanted to show you guys that because I had been talking about it and now that it's about to get cold, I want to be sure and do uh, this because this corn, having these corn chops in here helps them to uh, stay warmer too. And uh, I feel like with it being the chops, of course, they can process that much better and hold it in there and their gullets a lot better than they can hold that a big whole kernel of corn. Hello, pretty girl. She's out here checking out. Did, did you drop anything? Did you happen to drop any food? Whoop. <laughs> she gonna grab it up as quick as she can. Well, as the winter storm makes its way on to our property here and you see how light it is in the background there with all the sleet and snow coming down at the moment and you see what the cows look like they're turning white from their normal black and brown selves which is good for anybody who doesn't know that's a good thing that means that they are regulating their temperatures well and they are Internally, they're staying nice and warm. I put some more bedding in there and I've got a Heater in the bottom of this that should Keep it from getting totally iced up As cold as it's going to be. I don't know how that's going to work, but here I'll give you guys an idea How much is coming down right now? It's a little bitty a little bitty tiny bits of sleet and snow but <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it's coming out pretty good though the roads are our driveway is already white I'm hoping the roads aren't too bad I need to make one run to my parents house you can see <coughs> Luna's out playing around but yeah I think we're almost prepared I got one more thing that I want to do and uh, I'm not quite there yet that's why I need to run to my parents I need some more extension cords <laughs> we'll see what I can get done and hopefully I can drive there because it's I'm hoping the roads don't get too bad because when I came out here this morning the first thing I noticed was that the ground was already pretty well frozen all the places that, where it was muddy and kicked up all of these are hard places i'll bring you some food in just a little bit clint i promise bubba okay nat baby oh nat you got it all over your face baby yeah hi baby girl okay i'm gonna try to go get those extension cords and see what i can do so here's my thought for trying to put a little warmth in here I mean, this is completely closed off at night. There's no, uh, there's no flow. I mean, there's airflow up here, but there's no direct wind or anything like that. So I'm taking my chick heater that I had, I put it all the way up to 130. And uh, it's supposed to be really safe heat and do pretty good. So I'm going to assume that it will at least put some heat in here and we're going to give this a try during this cold spell and see if this helps these girls now understand these chickens they are covered in feathers they are fine with this i mean i'm they're out today they're just running around it's all uh, sleet covered and all that but they're, they're just running around doing their thing because it does not bother them as much as what it a lot of people might think it does so I'm hoping this will help them out a little bit. Just give them a little extra something to warm them when the temperatures drop real bad. But uh, I'll let you guys know if I think it's a success or if it really even helps any.